Hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to add multiple web parts into a single solution in SPFX. So you might have been seen if you are working on uh, visual web parts in uh, for your uh, SharePoint on-premises versions, then you might notice that uh, in one solution we used to add web parts. So here also same way we can add multiple web parts to a single solution so that we can group together. Uh, that is one thing. So related web parts you can put it in one solution. And the other thing in is you can save a lot of time because when you will create a web part it will take a lot of time to uh, create the structure of that project. So uh, next time when you will add another uh, web part then it will take the same amount of time. But if you are going to add um, uh, another web part to a, an existing solution then it will not take uh, very much time it will just add it because the node module will be already there and it will use that one rather creating or rather adding again. So let us see how we can do that. So I'll open the node.js command prompt. You can see here I open as run as administrator and on this I'll uh, navigate to my D drive because there I will uh, create the project. So I have folder uh, SPFX. So I navigate to that and here we will create some things. Uh, first a folder. Let's say I will say uh, MD multiple solution uh, and then uh, I will navigate to that multiple solution and then here we will run the your command your Microsoft uh, slash SharePoint so uh, now it will ask us to add all these things so to provide the web part name and everything so this will be the solution we'll keep it SharePoint online latest use the current folder and we do not want to deploy the solution to all site immediately and we'll select n for this and then we will create the web part here so next you can see here it is asking us the web part uh, what will be the name so i will make it hello world hello world description and you can choose any framework that doesn't uh, matter and it will work the same way so i'll select no javascript framework and we didn't do anything new on this because this is how when you will create spfx web parts then we will do the same thing i have also created uh, um, another video where you can you will be able to learn how to set up the environment how will create your web part how will deploy that so i'll put that link in the video description so apart from that also if you are interested to learn SharePoint as a, uh, and uh, you want to uh, specially focus on SPFX then I have a, a training course here. Uh, you can see here this is a SharePoint uh, framework developer training course more than 25 hours and you can get it uh, for lifetime and also I do regularly update the course. You can see here I have uh, complete things here uh, 10 modules are there and then uh, you can go through all this video so you can i'll put the link in the video description and you and you can have a look at this apart from that if you want uh, to learn as a sharepoint developer so you, I, I also have a sharepoint development training here you can see there are more than 60 hours of uh, video training course 23 modules are there this is from the basic if you don't have any developer knowledge anything you can learn sharepoint here so i'll put the same link also uh, in the video description and you can have a look at this now let us see whether uh, you can see here as i was telling you uh, it will take some time to uh, to to create the project because it will uh, mainly uh, the time will take for creating the node models folder so we'll just wait and then uh, we'll see how it will work now you can see here our web part got created and by this time if i will just run the code dot command so you, we can see the solution here uh, so you can see here i opened this in visual studio code and you can see here under source folder web parts and we have the hello world uh, web part you have this ts file this is nothing new now if you want to add another web part over here then in the same um, in the same uh, location you can see here this is my same folder and here i will run the command again yo add the rate microsoft slash sharepoint you can see here and uh, now it will ask me for the web part name you can see here uh, first of all which uh, type of client share component again we are creating a web part here and then it is asking for what is the web part name I will say hello world uh, new 
and then you can see here this is the description no javascript framework and you can see here it will quickly add this web part uh, you can see it will not take much time comparatively uh, to the other one you can see here you can see here it is almost done you can see the web part got added and you got a uh, uh, message here now if i will look at this folder now you can see here source web part if we expand this we have hello world and then hello world new now look at the hello world new you have the dot ts file as well as the other files and uh, we don't have any other node underscore modules folder we have only one that's the reason it is not taking time now regarding the deployment so you can if you open just here gulp serve you can see you can see i will just run so you can see here now look at this so if you look at this we have uh, the local workbench if you click on add web part you can see hello world and hello world new so you can add the hello world web part you can uh, just click over there again and hello world new so you can see here this is hello world new and this one is hello world so this way you will be able to add this command and if you want to deploy it to your um, your uh, tenant cat your app catalog side then same uh, commands you have to create the package so it will create one package and when you deploy that package uh, to your app catalog site then both the web parts will be available so this is simple now if you want same kind of uh, videos then uh, subscribe to our channel you'll get a lot of free videos on sharepoint office 365 spfx power platform all other videos that you will get it free here thank you and have a nice day